Hello, my fellow pin enthusiasts. I've got another actual pin review here for you. And I know this is one that a, a few of you have asked for um, more than once, and I apologize for taking so long to get this one done. But um, you'll see that we have a Moon Man package here. Now this package is different than the last couple of Moon Man packages we've seen. That's because this one has the M600S in it. So it looks like um, some of these uh, Moon Man pins are gonna be coming in this type of packaging. So um, I, you know, this is the, the uh, last uh, type of pin coffin that we got. And I, th I think this is a nice pin coffin, very nice uh, plush inside of here, really uh, nice presentation. Now this did come with the uh, Moon Man uh, sticker. However, I did take that sticker off and I set it down and now I don't know where I put it. So just FYI, of course it was uh, wrapped in a plastic sleeve. Now let's take a look at the actual pin. So with this Moonman M600S, of course, this is an homage pin to the Parker Duofold Centennial. And with, with the original Moonman M600, for those of you that already own that pin or have seen pictures of it, one of the primary differences, just, just the naked eye sees, or at least I do, is the clip design. The original Moonman M600, had that ball clip, whereas this one has that nice arrow design. I don't find either clip uh, issue with either one. Ball clip is kind of a little bit more traditional. This one is that nice uh, streamline arrow, um, which I actually really like this clip. Um, this one, pretty stiff, works well though. But let's take a look at this actual material. Now this is that beautiful blue swirled color. Now it's listed on there as an acetate, I will say that um, definitely has an acrylic smell to it in, when you take the cap off, um, you can kind of smell that acrylic. And I will say that it has some nice chatoyance to it. Now I'm not a, an expert on all the different materials and everything as far as what they're made out of. Obviously it's a resin, has a nice weight to it. Um, looking at the top here, of course we have a black cap finial as well as a black um, in piece to the barrel here, uh, both with metal accents. And of course, you can tell this one has to do with the clip. We have two nice uh, cap bands here as well. Um, I think the pin definitely looks uh, very premium um, as far as the look goes. This is a great uh, professional looking pin. It's a pin that I think you can take just about anywhere and it look very nice. <clears throat> now, as far as taking the cap off, so we have one turn, two turns, and just over two and a half turns, about two and two thirds, two and two thirds turns. So it does take a little bit to get the cap off. Um, generally, two and a half turns to me is about the maximum that I like on a pin. So this is just about right there, maybe a little bit over. I don't notice it too much because generally when I uncap it, I'm uncapping from the barrel and it goes a little bit faster. But when you compare it to some other pins, it does take a while to get the uh, cap off the pin. Now I do like this section. It tapers down or concaves down just a little bit to the end and then it flares out. Generally I like those really nice hourglass, hourglass sections. Those typically are my favorite. But I will say this section is comfortable to hold. I find myself holding it farther down towards the nib just because my fingers fit really nice there. It's not a pin that you have to post, I will say, but you can post this pin. Now, one thing I will say, when you post it, it becomes very elongated. However, the balance to the pin, to me, is not horrendous. Um, this metal back here on the cap is not very heavy, so I don't find it to be uh, a pin that is uncomfortable when posted. If you have very large hands, it will definitely probably be uh, comfortable for you to post. Now, you'll notice that we also have a metal band back here towards the end of the section um, going into the actual barrel. We'll take this barrel off. We'll notice we have some Moon Man branding. I think that's kind of sharp, it looks nice. And really, that's the only branding that's really on this pin with the exception of the nib. Now we've got just a standard converter back here. It's one with an agitator in it. Does a good job, no issues, no complaints there. Um, and then of course we've got our metal collar here. So there you see that part. Very nice design, very clean, very, very, very nice. Now here we see our Moonman nib. We've been seeing these a lot more on a lot of our newer Moonman pins. 
Now this one is that two-tone nib like what we saw on the M6. Of course, we've got our Moon Man uh, design there, kind of that uh, uh, mountain-type shape to it with the uh, gold tone up at the top or the end of the tines. And then we have F on there for fine. Even though this is a fine nib, it to me writes a little bit more like a Western fine, so um, it's a little bit broader line. Um, we'll talk more about the nib, of course, here in a moment. Now, I did want to, of course, show the uh, feed. Nothing different really on the feed, just that stamped feed, injection molded. Does the job though, no complaints whatsoever. Now in addition, now one thing that you'll notice, this pin does have an inner cap liner, but there's also a screw down there that actually holds this piece together and kind of keeps that clip together as well. Now the screw is exposed, so you know, it'd be interesting to see if over time, if that creates any issues. If I know sometimes when you have those metal parts exposed inside of the pin, you can have some corrosion and things like that. And only t time will tell. Um, as far as the pin sealing up, I've not really had any hard starts or drying out issues. I'm actually on my second uh, converter fill on this pin. So I've already filled this pin up. Um, now, now will be my second time. I just filled it up. But I have been riding with it quite a bit and haven't had any hard start issues or anything like that. Now I did want to give just one more close up for you so you can see that material. It's just gorgeous. Let me see if I can get some better lighting in here as I knock over my tripod. I apologize. So get a little bit more of a close up. And you just really see it just sparkles. That LED lighting really brings out the material well, but I really like it. All right, so up next, we will do some sizing comparisons with some other fountain pens just to get an idea of what it looks like. Compare the nibs, the sections, as well as the overall size and length of the pen. See you in just a moment. Okay, so here we see uh, four different pens here in the uh, video here. Now I've included a Pilot Metropolitan. I've had a couple of people um, ask if I'd include more widely known fountain pens just to help with a, an actual sizing comparison instead of just going with one specific brand or something like that. So I did include the Metropolitan just to give some uh, perception uh, there of size. Now starting from the bottom, working our way to the top, we have our Moon Man M100 here. Um, nice uh, torpedo shaped pin, kind of that Schaefer balance type design. We of course have our Moon Man M600S, that Parker kind of dual fold design. And then we have a nice uh, cigar shaped pin here with our Moon Man M300. Definitely a, a good size fountain pin in this um, image. And then we also have our Pilot Metropolitan here as well. This again kind of gives you an idea. So the M600 um, is, is a nice um, size pin. It definitely holds its own against these other pins. Um, you know, the M100 is, is definitely a longer pin, but not very girthy. Uh, so these two definitely right here are the largest out of these four pins. Now let's see all of these pins uncapped. Okay, so here we see all four pins uncapped and we, they all kind of take on a different uh, design element. Now you'll notice that the M600S is again a pretty decent sized pin uncapped and we saw that really in the hand. Now the M300 is another pin that definitely is a good sized pin that you don't necessarily have to have the pin uh, posted in order to have a nice writing experience. Now the sections all kind of take on a different um, design element as well. Um, you've got definitely a step down here, but it's very nice and contoured and there's a lot of surface area from the step down to the end of the actual section. I definitely think with the M600S really just focusing on this pin, there's no real step down. I mean, it's very, very um, minute and they're, the threads are, are very well machined. They're not sharp at all. So if you do happen to hold the pin up higher, it is very comfortable. Um, and then with our <clears throat> M100, there is a very slight step down with this one. And then it's got that kind of traditional section that just tapers all the way down and gets uh, smaller as it goes farther down. Now, giving a close up view of these sections and the nibs, flip this around for you. So here you can kind of again see all these nibs. So we've got really um, 
Pilot has their own proprietary nib, but it's more kind of like the, a number five size nib in my opinion. We've got two number sixes here in the middle, so these two are very close. The M300 does come with a uh, Schmidt nib in it. Um, I have switched this nib out to a, a Jin Hao nib that I've ground down to a cursive italic. So that's the reason why that nib's in there. And then we have our Moon Man nib here, of course, and that's the number six size. And then the Moon Man M100 does come with a number five Schmidt nib. Um, I've got a, a Schaefer, I'm sorry, a Waterman number two nib in that pin right now. Now, again, given an idea of those sections, a little bit of an up close look. I'm really comparing uh, these three right here. Uh, the pilot is kind of its own entity over here. And again, giving a little bit of a close up on those nibs just to get an idea. Now let's take a look at these pins in their posted form. So uh, here we see all four pins posted. And again, you really see how the M600S and the M300 are, are very large pins, especially when they're posted. They don't post extremely deeply. Um, the M600S posts just right on that, you know, metal um, piece, right about here is really kind of where that, that post stops. Um, so it really kind of makes the pin uh, much longer because of that. Um, and then the M300 just doesn't post very deeply. Now, again, as I stated before, the pin is not extremely, un it's not unbalanced, even though it is a very long pin when posted, it definitely is, is somewhat comfortable. So I have no complaints whatsoever with that. So up next, we will, um, or I will post up um, some measurements as well as some weights for you. So that way you can have both of those. And then of course, I will do a writing sample so you can see the nib in action and kind of do a little bit of a comparison with um, another uh, Moon Man nib as well. All right, so we are back everyone, and um, we're gonna start with the writing sample with this uh, pen. So we have here the Moon Man M600S. Now, <clears throat> I did pay um, about $25.93 for this pin, so about almost $26. That's in that includes shipping. I did buy this from Bobby Pins on his Etsy website, so I did, I did buy it from him. And again, this comes with the Moon Man Fine Nib. And this nib, I will say, is as far as, um, it, it's very smooth, um, very marginal feedback, if any. Um, for a steel nib, it is very smooth, nice to write with. I would say that is in between the C1 and the M, um, was it the M6, getting lost in all the Moon Man um, pins, as far as wetness goes. Um, I would say it's a, a decently wet nib, not a, a, I don't want to say a gusher like the C1. The C1 is, is very nice to, to write with. In fact, just to give a little bit of perspective before I do an additional writing sample, is uh, here is the C1. You can tell the difference. Now, also it could be the ink. Um, the ink, of course, I have not shown yet. The ink that I'm using in the Moon Man M600S is this Pilot Blue. Um, I got this uh, with my Pilot Custom 823 when I purchased it in that little gift box. And I like the ink. Um, I will say it's a little bit drier than some of the uh, Aroshizuku inks that I use. So that also could be part of the nib. All that being said though, it still writes very, very well. All right, so let's do an actual, let's write out a sentence. So there you see that. So again, nib, very smooth, writes well, no complaints whatsoever there. You know, you can 
maybe get just a tad bit of line variation if you put pressure to me it just kind of spits out more ink but I mean you can see some line variation there but I mean this is not a pen designed for that um, but you can get some obviously more pressure you're going to get more ink to come out as well and as far as reverse writing it's very dry but you can do it you get like an extra fine type line but it is definitely capable um, I've been very impressed. This is my third Moon Man number six size nib. I've been very impressed with all of the nibs that I've gotten from Moon Man. No complaints from this one at all. It writes very, very smoothly. No issues, no skipping, nothing. So definitely a, a winner there. So I mean, I think when you combine the the look of this pen, the, the material that it's made out of, the, the overall, I think, beauty of that material, the uh, build quality of the pen, I think, is, is really good. I, th I think it's a very nice pen. It feels nice. Um, the weight is good. And then you combine that with the nib's performance, and you, you, you put that into perspective with the price. This is a great pen. I, I think Moon Man has, again, hit this out of the park. You know, I'm a big fan of a lot of Moon Man's pens. But I think now that they've started incorporating their, their own proprietary nibs, I think that really improves on the overall quality of the pins that they're providing um, us with. And I think this is definitely one that is worth getting hands down. Um, I give it my seal of approval, whatever that may mean to you, but I think it's a great pin. So <clears throat> before I get off of the uh, video though, I do have a couple things to share. I did get some pen mail today. I'm looking for my pen rest. It's my, net, my pen BBS pen rest. Um, so I did get a couple things in the mail today. So be looking forward or be looking for these reviews. I'm gonna show them real fast. So here is a box and a little bit of an interesting um, pen box. And inside of that pen box, we have a pen. So this is that, um, Zize or Zize, I think Zize fountain pen that was in a, a pen news video. This is another Bobby pen. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. I have not even inked this up yet. I did take it out of the box, of course, and mess around with it. And then in addition to that, I got my Wingsong 3013 today. Um, not to really give much away on this pen, but we'll say it's a nice hefty pen. I mean, it, you know, you can really feel it. It's got a lot of metal in it but just kind of showing that off just for a moment. Um, but nice pen. Mine did come with an extra fine. That's what I ordered. All the mediums. There was like one medium I think left, but it was in the brown color or the purple. I couldn't remember, but I really wanted a clear one. And unfortunately extra fine was the only size available. I figured if, you know, I don't like the nib or, you know, it's a little too fine for me, I can always switch it out, but I don't mind nibs like that. Cause sometimes, um, you can use these on cheaper paper at work and uh, they, they make you know good writers from that perspective so um but stay tuned i will be reviewing both of those pins hopefully i'll, I'll probably do the wing sung 3013 next kind of that one's going to be a really popular one for a lot of people and then i do have another of the paley pins coming and i did buy that from a different seller on ebay so i have one of those coming as well so be looking for those um, until next time everyone please take care out there um, again, great pen. Get one if you haven't already. It's definitely worth the uh, 26 bucks. Um, until next time, everyone, take care out there. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm going to post this as a separate review, essentially. Um, but I just finished up my review with this pen, so our M600S. Um, and I, I did, I failed to mention that Bobby had actually sent me an extra nib with my order. And that's one cool thing about Bobby is he sometimes will send uh, stuff to you that you're not expecting it. So he sent me a fully one nib. This is a medium nib. And I've actually ground this nib down to a cursive Italia, italic. Um, you might be able to kind of see that a little bit. So um, grinding skills are getting better. You know, um, I've been playing around with a lot of different nibs, different types of grinds. I, I don't, I am no way, shape, or form an expert, but I was really appreciative of the nib. And I thought, hey, maybe I could do something with this nib. Um, so I, I ground this down, 
you know, didn't do anything else to it, just that alone. And it actually, it writes really nice. Get some nice um, thin cross strokes and some decent down strokes as far as width goes. And uh, I really like this nib. I put it in this Jin Hao pen because it was really the one I had kind of laying around. And the nib works very well. So I did want to say thank you to Bobby for that. And just another reason sometimes to... Um, you know, order pins from Bobby. I know he uh, surprises Chris Rap a lot with nibs and stuff, and I, um, and different things for that matter. So um, I was very appreciative of that, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So nib writes good, um, and I did write with it before I, of course, altered the nib, and it it would have been a great nib. So regardless of me messing with it. And, and making any changes to it whatsoever. Um, I know a few of you have asked if I'll post a video on showing how I grind my nibs. Um, at some point I will, yes. Uh, just bear in mind, I am in no way, shape, or form an expert whatsoever. So I don't know if I would be the, the best person to uh, learn from. Um, but uh, at some point I will um, post a video to kind of show that. But cool nib, and I'm very appreciative to get one of these. There you see it. That's all I'm going to do. Just again, really quick video just showing off the nib. Everyone, take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.